Hey everybody, I really hope you enjoyed our story about monster trucks today. Um, I really enjoyed this book. My kids enjoyed it when they were little. But I have several other books that I want to show you before I do our craft with you. One is Get to Work Trucks by Don Carter. This is a, a fun little short paperback story um, for little kids to read. Um, we also have How Many Trucks Can a Tow Truck Tow? This is a great counting book. Um, this one was written by Charlotte Pomerantz. Um, we also have Senior, Senior, I'm sorry, Seymour Simon's Big Book of Trucks. And this has every truck that's on the road with real-time pictures in it for kids. Um, explains what they do. Um, then a couple of my favorite stories were by Virginia Lee Burton, Mike Mulligan, and the Steam Shovel, which is a story about a steam shovel that gets built into a, a building in a house. And um, another one is Katie and the Big Snow. And this is about a snow plow and how she frees up a town after a terrible snow. But one of my favorite books is by John Siska. It's Truck Town Smash Crash. And this one was illustrated by David Shannon, Lauren Long, and David Gordon. This is a great story. I really thought about reading this one to you guys. It's got fantastic illustrations um, and easy reading. I know preschoolers love this book, so check it out in the library when you come get it. We're going to be reading another book by John Siska later this year, which is why I didn't read this one to you guys today. Um, but come to the library and check it out. It's a great book. In the meantime, we can make a fun big monster truck craft. And I actually have two crafts here, one for younger kids and one for older kids. Um, the littler kids, we're going to actually show you how to do this one, which is a dump truck craft. And then for older kids, you can do it with some um, cardboard and some toilet paper tubes. This is to make an actual... Um, a bulldozer. So I'm going to quick show you how to do this one and we'll touch on that one. So on our dump truck, the fun thing that's about it is we're actually making it serviceable. You can actually dump your cookies or whatever you have inside of it out and you can refill it back up so your truck can take deliveries to its location. How many dump trucks do you know that come with cookies inside? Yay, that's so exciting. So how do we make this craft? Well, you're going to need a few items. You're going to need some construction paper of uh, various colors depending on what color you want your truck to be is what color you're going to want to make it. Um, I went with red and then a blue um, truck bed liner. Um, you're going to need blue or gray for a road, black for your tires, and of course white for your windows. So you're going to need some scissors, a ruler, a pencil, some glue, and a, um, and a hole punch because you also need to put um, a little brass brad in to make your truck bed spin. So let's go ahead and get started on this. First thing you need to do is to take your um, blue or gray paper and cut it out into kind of a wavy shape so it looks like a road. And we're just going to glue this on. You can either use a glue stick or regular glue, whichever you prefer. It doesn't really matter um, on this project. Um, both will work. And you're going to want to glue that down just above the bottom of the paper because you want your road to show that it has a shoulder on the side of it. Um, the next thing we're going to do to, to prep is you want to take um, two square sheets of yellow paper. They are six inches by four inches and you want to glue them on three sides together so that we can form the pocket of our dump truck. And you want to get those glued together. And at the, un, um, at the open part of your pocket here, you want to take your ruler and you want to measure about a half an inch down from the top of the paper. You want to draw a line across. And then you want to go to the top corner and aim your ruler towards the bottom opposite corner. And then just draw a little line here. And then do the same on the other side here, like that. Because we're actually going to cut now to open up the truck bed. And you're going to cut on your lines like this. So that's your even. And that is the bed of our dump truck. And we're going to let that sit here and get nice and glued dry while we work on the rest of our truck. The next thing you need to do is assemble the wheels. You're going to want to cut out two black circles. They don't have to be perfect. I certainly can't cut out a perfect circle without a special tool. So feel free to trace a cup or a glass or whatever round object you can find. Um, and then you're going to want to cut out one in white paper that's just a little bit smaller. And then two more that are just a little bit smaller than that in black. And we're just going to glue all these things together here. And again, these circles don't have to be perfect circles. 
For your preschoolers who are learning how to cut, this is a great opportunity to practice cutting in circles. They have to guide the paper around with the scissors while they're cutting. It's a real eye-hand coordination skill that will be really helpful for them to learn. So again, if it doesn't look exactly circular, that's fine. You could have square wheels on your dump truck. That works too. Uh, it's all fun in making the craft. The other thing you want to do is um, have your preschooler cut out a one and a half by one and a half inch square. And you are going to also need to cut out a six inch by two inch red rectangle and a three by three inch square. And when they get the square um, cut out, then you need to draw a small triangle in the top corner. And we are going to cut that off so that we can have a cab for our truck. The square that you cut out, we're going to glue onto our truck cab. If you want your truck to face the other direction, then just flip the cab over and it can go that way. If you want your truck to drive this direction, then you want to glue your window on this way. And we'll just do it that way. And we're going to glue our window on the cab like so. There we are. Now the other thing we're going to do here is we're going to glue um, on our road dots and we're going to place them on here in intervals that are a couple inches apart. And you also want to stagger them a little bit slightly above each other to make it look like the road is disappearing into the horizon. You don't want to do it drastically, but you kind of want to just kind of trick your eye a little bit. So just a little bit above each other as it goes into the background. So we can glue these on too. And that one will go there. And this one will glue kind of like this. And this one will glue in the very back. Like that. Not too far up. Not too high up there. Okay, now we're going to glue our truck on. And so you're just going to want to put a strip of glue along your um, rectangle, your six inches by two inches rectangle. And you want to glue that right about here. And then we're going to glue your wheels on. So you can go trucking down the road. If you want to have a lot of fun with your toddler, you could put a brass brad in the middle through here, poke a hole all the way through the paper, and then your wheels can spin on your dump truck too. That all depends on how creative or how interactive you want your dump truck to be. And we'll just glue our other wheel on our truck right there like so. And then the cab of the truck, you can just glue right above the red here, like so. And now all that's left to do is the actual truck bed. As you can see, it's now the pocket is kind of glued tight together. This is going to rest right here. And so what we need to do before your glue dries is you want to poke a hole in between the red and the yellow together here. And we can slip your brass brad right through there so that it turns. The other thing that we need to do is take a six inch by just under an inch rectangle of the same matching paper that you have here. And you want to fold down just um, the bottom edge of it. You're going to fold this into thirds the long ways. If your toddler's learning folding, this is a good practice for them too. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, just try to get it as close as you can because this is going to form the lip that catches the, um, the truck on your truck. So when you hold your truck picture up, your dump truck doesn't spin the other way. It doesn't have a cookie in it, but when it's empty, it'll sit like that nice and neatly. And it can spin like that. So now we're going to take our little lip and we're going to glue it underneath our red truck bed. And I almost forgot to tell you, you're going to want to also cut an angle here so that the brass brad doesn't get caught. And then you can slide it under here and it forms a nice little lip. 
on your brass brad. You just need to um, slip that in. Brass brads come in a box like this. And um, you're just gonna wanna slide that through the hole that you've got made and then bend the backs so that it connects. And then make sure it all glues down. And there is your dump truck. And you can put whatever you like inside of it for the load. And then it can slide into its lip here. So there's that construction paper dump truck. So if you've got older kids though, and they're looking for a little bit more complicated project, I found this fun um, dump truck on several websites. And all you need to make this truck is um, a toilet paper tube. And hopefully everybody's got that now that everybody's bought toilet paper like mad. You're actually gonna need two of these. You're gonna need a whole one, and then you're gonna need one that you've cut in half. Then you're gonna just need regular cardboard. You can use um, any kind of cardboard box you find in your cupboard, a popcorn box, a cereal box, a cracker box, any kind of box you've got is perfect. And again, the same way you cut circles out for the, the wheels on your dump truck, you're just gonna to wanna to trace those circles too. You want four of them on the cardboard. And then you're going to cut out um, these kind of weird looking shapes. They look like feet, like for a robot. And um, you wanna cut them out. When I first cut them out, I cut them too long and had to keep cutting them shorter. So if you wanna cut them long and then decide how long you want them, you can do that. Um, just don't cut them too short to be in with because then you'll have to start all over. I also discovered that using my hot glue gun worked better to attach them to my split cut um, cardboard tube than Elmer's glue did because the Elmer's glue, they kept slipping and falling, whereas the um, glue gun glue dried fast and hard. But go ahead and experiment and see what works best. You can also go ahead and paint all these things before you construct it if that's something you'd like to do. I did not paint mine um, because I just kind of want to show you guys what you can do, but feel free to paint it. Paint it yellow, paint it black, paint it orange, paint it any color you want. It'd be kind of fun to see what colors you guys come up with. And then the only other thing you need for this project then is a straw that you've cut up into um, similar size lengths like that to run your pieces through. You're gonna to wanna to take your hole punch and you're gonna to wanna to punch holes on the same um, opposite sides on the top and the bottom of your tube. And then you're gonna to wanna to take your straw and you're going to want to insert it through a wheel and then insert it through the hole and then through the opposite hole and attach another wheel. And that's the back end of your bulldozer. And now for the front end, and I would really honestly recommend that if you do this, that instead of using the hole punch here, like what I did, um, I would punch it with a um, screwdriver or with a pencil or with a sharp end of the scissors. That's why this is a project for older kids and not for younger kids. Um, because what I found is when I inserted my straw through here, um, it's too loose, which I mean seems great, but if you wanna spin the straw to lift the dozer, it's too loose to do it. Whereas if you use a scissors or a pencil or a straw or something, if it's nice and snug in there, when you spin the straw, the cardboard will move with it. So if I were to do this again, I would definitely make these holes so that they were punched through um, so they fit snugly. But anyways, go ahead to attach them. You wanna start again with your straw. You wanna insert it through the wheel and then through the top of your dozer and then through both of your do dozer's arms here and then back out the other side. Oops, I lost it, hang on. This is why I didn't go into car engineering. And then out the other side and attach your wheel. And guess what, it actually does work. So you can roll the wheels and they roll and your dozer does go up and down. When you're cutting your arms, you wanna make sure that you leave enough, I'll show you here, that you leave enough length here so that when it goes um, here, it can go up and down inside your tube. If it's um, not cut at a steep enough angle, it'll get stuck and it won't go. So you wanna make sure you cut a sharp enough angle there and leave enough length of arm so you can really get that dozer to lift up and down. And um, like I said, if you go ahead and color it or paint it, um, you can really make this into a working dozer. So I hope you guys have fun with these craft projects and I look forward to seeing you guys again later. Take care, bye-bye.